Greetings, everyone, with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up in just a moment. I'm Mike Emmerich. It's the end of a long homestand, and it hasn't been very good, but it's finally coming to an end. How do you approach this last game? Well, I think it's pretty simple, Doc, is that the mindset at home tonight to end this homestand should be the same way that you approach road games. Nothing fancy. Keep it simple and worry about what you can and bring the hard hats here at home that you would bring on the road. The Golden Knights are obviously not happy with the way they perform during this homestand, but I got the sense of talking to some of the players and coaches this morning at the pregame skate is that they're going to come out with a real simple attitude, a real simple game plan. Pucks ahead, people ahead, put the hard hats on and see what happens at the end of 60 or maybe even longer minutes of this game. Let's look at the starting netminders. The last game was forgettable, but he is coming back here to try and make some more positive memories in this one. Gave his team a chance to win last time, so he's out there this time. The centermen are in, and the puck will be dropped. Carlson's the starting center for Vegas. Joe Hansen's ready to draw for the Predators. Play is underway. Eddie Olchek alongside Ray Ferraro downstairs. I'm Mike. The Predators added a W to their stats in the last game by executing on their plan very effectively. Gains the zone. He throws it there. Great save. Hey, Ray, you've got a closer look than we do. What are you seeing that we're not? There are so much more travel challenges playing in the Western Conference. These games are so important. Every once in a while, you catch a team that's traveled a long way on the night of a back-to-back, -back, and you can really take advantage. Many thanks, Ray. Nicely received at the point. An enormous hit. This is not going to be a game for quiet players. You're going to need to be physical. That early hit sets the tone here for both teams. Smart recovery by Forsberg. Carries it on in from center. it back deep. Pitching it to Halla. Fires! Oh, that was close. From that position on the ice, he's got to hit the net. Make the goalie make a save. Oh, and he has closed off emphatically. It's pretty clear he wanted to send a message with that hit. He followed through and thumped him. Big hits in open ice. On to Yossi. And thrown down to Fiala. Oh, that's a great save by Subban. Can he clear? Collected at the boards. Hanks a shot. That's a marvelous save. He's locked in now. Great save. Directing that one to Tuck. Off the glove. Skilled play by P.K. Subban. Nashville's along the wing at center ice. Slid to Tuck. Takes it in from the neutral zone. Score! score first you take the edge off your own team that can't happen you're up one go make it two that is the first goal scored after a lot of work great start they were ready to play and it shows on the shot clock as well neutral zone face off one possession established here oh snaps the shot save there Predators have looked like a perfect hockey team over the last 10 games. Whether it's their special teams, their five-on-five -five play, their goaltending, they've had the answer to any question. They he scores! Reeves 
realize he didn't have much time in tight. He put it in on a one-timer. So many times we focus on the finish of the play, but that's a great pass that opened up room for him to shoot the puck. A little under nine minutes gone in this period. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. He laid on to Boyle. Scored by number 75. Got it at the point. Assisted by number 73. I can't find the target. When the puck sounds hard, when it hits the end boards, that means you've missed the net. Scoring chances handed away. Lightning in that glove. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. It's dumped in. The Golden Knights carrying on in their own end. Crosses that line. Wonderful chance to score, but no. Looking to Hartman. Picks it up back there. Feeds the point. pass he got a piece of that one the shooter thought he had a chance but the goaltender robs him what a stop flings it nice save with the glove chip the Belmont handled with the stick driving in from no man's land puck loose now picked up great pad stop goaltender pass brought ahead Takes it right back. Let's it go. Save. Intercepted that one at an important place. Pass attempt to Forsberg. Propelled to Eckholm. Dogged determination there by Miller. That was a big hit. Forsberg's play with the puck is known throughout the league, but when he lays the body off, everybody waits up. Just inside the line. Slid back across from one point to the other. My, what a hit. I love seeing plays like that along the boards. Steps across that line. Save! From the slaughter wrister. And yet another save. How does he do that? Well, that's not challenging in the least. The goaltender's able to make the stop. He's got a clean line to see it. There's no challenge there. Clean win on the draw. Ricochets it on to Smith. Just great positional play. Leads that charge into the zone. Really quick grab. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. Oh, and he robbed him. To the last 34. Shoots. Score! That is a milestone. Point number 300. anything now. Their team will be pumped up that they've scored this last minute goal going into the intermission. Neutralized face-off win. Puck is thrown to Holland. Strong wrister. That puck struck him in front. Waffle boarded. First period has come to a close. Some plotting of strategy for the second in one dressing room, and maybe some continuation of what they've done, the only strategy in the other. Every 
Take a look at the shots on goal. A lopsided total. An enormous 17 for the Golden Knights and 9 for the Predators. Rene's had a difficult contest, and here is an example of that. For now, he gets a rest. So do we as we head to break. One period played, a second period is about to begin. What do you think of what we've seen so far? Nashville's lucky to still be in this game after the first period. They had turnover after turnover. I'm sure the coaches addressed that problem in the intermission. Forcing attention in deep. And down to Forsberg. Didn't track it very well there, loose puck. Vegas in mid-ice skating along the side. Quick, Rister, and off target with that one. You don't get to shoot the puck very often from that spot on the ice. You have to hit the net to challenge the goaltender. Takes that pass up the boards. Let's it go. Hits the post and out. Pressure mounting here. Out to the point with it now. Back to the blue line. They're getting ready to strike. Puck heads to the neutral zone. The attackers, of course, follow. Need to get rid of it. Nicely into the zone. And he's tripped, and there'll be a penalty. Eckholm's going to the box, and the call is tripping. Well, I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. The Golden Knights are going to try out their power play. The Golden Knights can play a close game knowing that if they get a power play, that's among the very best in the game. But they've got very little advantage tonight. Their opponent plays much the same way. We'll see who can take advantage of the other's mistakes. Bounces it ahead to Halla. And now it's directed to Stastny. Into the attacking end. Whistle is blown. Penalty call. Guilty party departs. Sissons is sent to the box for tripping. He's got great stick positioning. Stick is on the ice, but unfortunately takes the skates out from under him. Every game presents a fork in the road opportunity, and this is it. It's a long five-on-three power play, and it begins now. You don't get too many chances like this, Doc. A five-on-three power play. The key is to be aggressive, get the puck to the net, make those three penalty killers move all over the place. Got it back out of the zone. Pitching this one to Holland. Passing one off now to Stastny. Can start the attack going in the zone. A lane was jammed, and it hit somebody. Terrific chance, but again, why? Talking about being snake bitten, he really has tonight. Solid neutralized poke check. He cleared that puck out of there. On to Theodore. Slid to Theodore. Keeps one. At least he protected his goaltender. Clock bleeding down on the power play. Trying to go to Holland. Gets in, looks over his options here. One timer, got iron with the shot. Smith's shot looks like it's going into the net, but when it bounces away, the guys on the bench get a chuckle as they're comfortably in front. Vegas sees their power play come to an end here. A long one, and they fail. Big drive, got that tremendous scoring chance. Nashville's goalie's been fantastic. Because he's been so good, you'd think their offense could get untracked at some point. Fired one and it got the post. Irwin skating out of his own end. Canes that offensive line. A shot. Save! And he puts the glove on it and stops play. Vegas has been on the body almost from the beginning of the game. Anytime they were pushed back, they pushed back even harder. They've been the more aggressive team. They've taken a big lead in hits in this period, and as a result, They've increased their lead on the scoreboard. Good job on the draw. 
in with it now. Let's go a wrister and a save. The play is offside. Back to center ice. Just a little under nine minutes have been skated so far. There have been three goals in this game. They've all come from one team. They've got it. Went to the backhand. Moving it to Engelin. What dangerous play made by the goaltender. But he's got it. Scorches one. He scores! Four unanswered goals. that puck square in the middle of his stick. Great technique. That uh, doesn't even have to touch the back of the net to be a goal. The goalie thought he had that. However, it trickled right by him into the net. The Golden Knights have added to their lead. They are heavily out shooting the opposition. And we look at the opposition bench and do not see a white flag Vegas yet. Goal, by Snapping a pass to Subban. Seeks the corner. And now, after that period of time, we get the whistle and the penalty call. Vegas is guilty of a two-minute penalty for tripping. Now, this is a tough call. He was trying to play the puck, but he tripped up the attacking player. The Predators will send out their power play unit for the first time. Vegas Golden Knights penalty. Nice face-off work. The Belmont. Belmar is tripped up. That should be a penalty. And this penalty will wipe out the power play. Arvidsson's going to the box. It's a tripping minor. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. The player made no attempt to play the puck and just tripped up the attacking player. Both teams a man short. Who win this draw? It doesn't even take much of a mistake, Doc, to, to get a scoring chance on a four-on-four. Four. One guy gets beat by a half a stride. It's game on. And he dumps it in. The Golden Knights control the play in the defensive zone. Into the end of attack. Shakes right through. And a save. Holds on and gets that whistle. Over eight minutes remaining in the second. One step short of a fistful. It's a four-goal lead. With a blast! That puck hit him on the way to the net. Gotten quickly back. Flings it. Wonderful stop. Merrill skating to the neutral zone. Skates it into the zone. Marvelous save. A great chance was no chance. He's got it. Pitching it to Miller. The Golden Knights have been so energetic right from the very beginning of this game. They've had too much, too much speed, too much physicality, too much finesse for their opponents to handle. The Predators have killed off the penalty, and so we're back at full strength. Directing that one to Arvidsson. Outstanding body contact. I wonder if that hit will change the momentum of this game. Arvidsson's clearly in some anguish here. He's working his way back to the bench, but he's hurt. Takes that pass from the other point. Wonderful save. Laid on to Eckholm. Shoots it on. Oh, stick save. Poked away. Got to clear it. Stastny slashed on the play. And there will be a penalty. Looking to Pacioretty. Stands him up. Whistle is blown. And now the penalty will be handed out. Yarncroft's getting a minor for slashing. He's making like Paul Bunyan out there. That's a two-minute slash. This has been a power play that's gotten a lot of times, but no goals. Maybe that'll change with this one. Well, the power play hasn't come through for them yet. Here's another opportunity. See if they can take advantage of it. 15 minutes, 47 seconds. It's dumped in. 
good lead pass ahead. Brings it in for an attack. Deflected off the blocker. And he dumps it in. Pass attempt to Pacioretty. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. Over three minutes to go in the second. With that goal, the lead becomes more impressive. It's up to four. Stays along the boards. Points it. Beside the line. Many yards gained to Ellis. This shift has to make the coaches of the Predators really happy. Vegas failed to take advantage of that power play and all the others tonight. A great wrist shot. Great save. Terrific determination by Smith. He scores! Roof tickler goes in from the high slot. There's not much velocity left on that puck once it gets by the goalie. I thought he had it, guys. However, it ends up in the back of the net. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. Well, not much surprise here. The coach has clearly seen enough because he can't bench the whole team. What he's going to do is get his goaltender out of there and let him have a bit of a break. The Golden Knights have built an enormous lead and some wonderful confidence here. The coach probably won't have to say much at the end of this second period. Vegas Golden Knights goal. Chip to Holland. Into the last score! He's got his second of the game. is able to get himself in position to one-time that puck to the back of the net. Saros drops to his butterfly as soon as the shooter commits to the shot, but he's not good enough position as he gets beat cleanly. Vegas has a big, big lead here, and we have a whole period plus some more to play yet. Vegas They've got the draw. by number 19. Wiley Smith steps in from the neutral zone. Corral. Big drive. Score! the game or anything but you can go into the locker room and you feel pretty great about yourself as you can come out to the next period knowing you've just scored the golden knights have built a tremendous lead and also built some wonderful confidence what will they say in the second intermission probably not much puck is thrown to smith snaps one in there Oh, that was close. Number 56, Eric Pella. Time of the goal. 19 minutes, 40. Two periods seconds. have been played. And so, as we think back through the first two, we think ahead toward the third. Let's look at the shots on goal totals through the first two periods. 29 for Vegas and 13 for the Predators. Are you a super fan? The Predators were counting on a tremendous performance in goal. They counted wrong. More in a moment. To an upcoming game.
third period about to begin. The rear view mirror will help us with the first two, and so will Edza. Nashville's in a real tight game here, Doc, as we get ready for the third period. One of the reasons has been specialty teams. The penalty kill has been the difference, why they're still in it. Terrific defensive work. Is able to move on in. A shot, a wonderful shot, answered quickly. That was a good challenge, better stop. Never satisfied, never take your foot off the gas pedal. He's got two goals now. He better be thinking about getting number three. Nashville's prevailed on another faceoff. A collision. Subban's gonna have to pick himself up after that one. He got steamrolled. They've clearly got the target on him. He's got that point pass. May not have intended it, but it hit him. Right along the blue line. Forsberg's hooked on this play, and the arm of the referee is high. To the half wall. Play is stopped, and now the penalty. Vegas has been handed a minor, and the call is hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. The Predators' power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. There's not much new to a power play. It works the same way all the time. You get a good zone entry, you get the puck to the point, you shoot it, you move the... Breaks free! Oh, and he misses. You get in all alone like that, you have to make sure you hit the net. Nashville's got a defensive zone win. The Predators continue to probe up the wing. Shot with no time whatsoever. He turned it aside. You talk about cutting down the angle. Perfectly executed by the goaltender. They won that face off. Try to generate something. Missed. Boom, they came together that time, didn't they? Oh, he got thumped against the boards. The glass is still rattling. Save! He hangs on and gets the whistle. Hang on, strength and power really shows the force of this hit. Nashville's got a face-off win. And now it's directed to Torres. Has that point pass as well. They just keep working away, don't they? Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. Smith's got a chance at the Hattie here, Doc. Broke it right up. Oh, and he missed the net. The Predators needed something from their power play and didn't get it. Almost like a cement wall that time. And that puck is not going where he wanted it to. Usually when you see shove it and push it after a whistle, it leads up to something bigger. And I mean a lot bigger. Ellis was rattled as soon as this collision occurred. He's really been struggling since. Won that face off. Now what? Pitching this one to Fiala. Gains the zone. Slides it to the point. Propelled to Ellis. On to Smith. Fires! What a save! The shooter shaking his head. Great save. Twist one. That's a good save and goal. They're going to have to come up with something better than that. Nashville's up the wing, controlling play now. Got it in his own end. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Passing one off now to Top. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Back on his stick. 
Didn't get through. Trying to go to Smith. Neutral zone carry by Yossi. Has it in his own end. Enormous hit. He wanted to make sure that his team was noticed here, Doc. He delivered that hit with intent. He went right through him. Fires! Save! Ellis has got it on his stick. Can he clear it? A big, big hit. To Aiken. Moving it to top. Takes that pass. Here we go. Ah, uh, howitzer! That shot went badly. Why? This was a heavy shot, but it had no chance of going in because it missed the net. Tries to get it on net. Score! at all. He fired home that wrist shot. Not a whole lot of room up there, Enzo. I got a good look at this one, and he puts it right up over the goaltender's glove, right next to his ear. The Golden Knights would love to take this shutout all the way to the finish. Their goaltender has been amazing, and they want to protect him as much as they can. Snapping a pass to Zubac. Oh, what a hit! Bring it off the post! And he holds on and stops playing. The airplanes, the buses, the hotels, they're tough enough when you're up here in the booth, Doc. Having to do all the travel and then play some hockey games, I miss it, but I don't miss it. There are no easy stretches for a team when you're playing in this league. Good clean win. Slid to Salamaki. Laid on to Weber. Attack zone possession here. Pitching it to Belmont. Goes back deep for him. The Predators are driving it from the wing. Good intercept. Carries it on in from center. Got that pass in his own end. Directing that one to Johansson. Waits from the corner. Fires! He saved it. Strong save. The goalie makes himself look big. Using the point. He's got it. Around through the corner right now. Shoots! Outstanding save. What magic to even get the shot away. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Let's check in at ice level with Ray. Word from the home team's locker room is they're going to be short a player for the rest of the night. The injury occurred a while ago. He will not return. Right play, right pass up the right wing, and it's on his stick. Rister, score! <laughs> shoot it, but it's the release that counts, and he snaps it home. Saros is not able to cover that low stick side, beaten pretty cleanly there. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Chip to Yossi. Assisted by number six. Wow, what a hit. Big padded shoulders. Oh, he had nowhere to go on that play. Things are heating up with that hit. Forsberg's had a pretty narrow focus for much of this last part of the game. Things have not gone very well for his team, but he's been very physical throughout. So we're into the last minute. All is academic here. 
Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. You got to think that's a game-changing save there. Vegas can't play much more of a perfect period. They've been on the body. They've been aggressive. They've taken away all the time and space from their opponents. Good face-off win. Shot on. Score! like it got deflected right in front of the goaltender. I'm sure Ray had a much better look at that. It did get deflected, Eddie, and when we get a look at it on the replay right here, you're going to see the goalie's in position, but because the puck is deflected the way it was, it gets past him in a way he just can't react to. And the faceoff's won. Looking to Halla. Pass attempt to Smith. And they've got it again. And he steps across the line. That one is pointed to him. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Save there. Held there for a faceoff coming up next. Solid clean win. The Golden Knights keep the play going in the middle. Routine save, but a save. Good clean win on the draw. Down to the final seconds. He's a rookie, but he's not a rookie anymore when it comes to putting up a shutout. everyone.